Developing news in Topanga, almost 18 hours and an armed woman in her 70s is still holding L.A. Sheriff's deputies at bay at a mobile home park on Topanga Canyon Boulevard. CBS 2's Peter Dowd is on the scene where they're bringing in heavy equipment. Peter. That's right, Paul. This has certainly been a very bizarre and lengthy standoff beginning roughly 18 hours ago. And right now, investigators say that armed woman is still holed up in a neighbor's backyard at this mobile home park. This all started with a medical assistance call around 5.30 this morning. Firefighters say the patient, a woman in her 70s, suddenly pulled a gun on them. Tonight, sheriff's deputies and emergency crews remain at this mobile home park in what they're calling one of the longest and strangest standoffs they've ever encountered. It is disturbing, but what can we do? It's been going on the whole day. I live here. I've been out here since 10, 15 in the morning, so I'm a little bit frustrated. Sky 2 captured some of the tense moments. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department sent in a SWAT robot to help end the standoff. On your screen, we have circled the woman believed to be in her 70s. It appears she used a broom to push the robot away, and investigators say she even fired two shots at the robot. Later on, she threw a towel over that robot. SWAT members fired several flashbangs into the unit where the woman's been holed up. In this slow motion video, you can even see one of the rounds flying over. The flashbangs created smoke around the unit. The fire department even used a water hose, but the woman refused to give up. Neighbors who saw the woman were stunned. And I said, well, you're not supposed to be here. I said, well, I'm here, I cannot walk. So, um, and I raised my voice and she put the gun on me. And I went back, back up and I closed the door. Those who know the woman say they do not know what may have triggered her erratic behavior. For her to do this, it doesn't make any sense. The only thing I can think of is she's very depressed. Back out here live, folks who live at this mobile home park are still hoping to go back inside soon. The Sheriff's Department says they are using non-lethal methods, including tear gas, and trying to be patient in hopes this all comes to an end without any injuries. Again, the standoff now entering into its 18th hour, and so far there are no reports of any injuries. Reporting live in Topanga, Peter Dowd, CBS 2 News.